for some reason, people are thinking that having a mental illness is a cool thing. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Hey, I'm Michelle Hammer, and you're watching Schizophrenia in the City. And today, I wanted to talk about something. You know, people have been emailing me about certain things, and I got my hands on an article. And apparently, did you know that it's cool to have a mental illness? Um, I, I didn't really know that it was cool, but apparently it is or something like that. And I can't think if, I couldn't figure it out, is it cool? Or they think they think it's cool? Or if it's actually cool? And let me just like tell you what I was reading about. And wait, 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 before everybody goes, Michelle, you hypocrite, you have a clothing line, Schizophrenic NYC, and you're totally glamorizing your illness. Okay, that is not what I am doing with Schizophrenic NYC. The goal for the whole clothing line is to wear a bold statement on your shirt, such as, don't be paranoid, you look great, or whatever, and then start up a conversation, let's get talking about mental health, because then we can eradicate or get rid of stigma. That's what it's about, fighting stigma. Get people talking about mental health, let's talk about it. We don't have to fight about it, we don't have to argue about it, we don't have to stigmatize it. I am not glamorizing mental health with my clothing line, I am talking about mental health with my clothing line and fighting stigma at the same time. But let's get into what we're really talking about today because for some reason, people are thinking that having a mental illness is a cool thing. And I don't really know why. Some people are arguing about like, on like Instagram and all like social media. People are posting those sad posts. Oh, help me, I wanna die, blah, 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 all that stuff. Oh, they're, they're glamorizing it, they're glamorizing it. I don't really see that as glamorizing it. I kind of see that almost as like, you know, I would say you're crying for help in some way and you want people to help you in some way. Why else would you post a photo, photo of you crying? Or am I wrong here? Is, is it me who is wrong? Because if you're gonna post such a depressing photo, I think it's almost a cry for help in some way and you want people to pay attention in a good way and you're just, you know, crying for help. That's my opinion. You can disagree, but that's my opinion on that because that was one of the points that was brought up about this topic. So another thing that people are believing right now about, you know, it's cool to be mentally ill or whatever. They're saying, you know, 13 reasons why I came out. They associated it with about 28.9% of the suicide deaths of teenagers. So they're kind of saying it's kind of popularizing it and it, people are, are ending their life in that way because they're seeing it on TV. I kind of understand that. If you're learning on TV how to end your life, then you may do it too. And maybe you want to do it in a really dramatic way using cassette tapes. My whole thing was, in that in that show, my personal opinion was, like, every time I might have been in a situation where I didn't want to live very m much longer, it kind of happened very instantly. Like, I wasn't sitting around writing notes and all these big different huge things about it. I wasn't doing any of that. It was just like, I'm gonna do it now. It, you know, I that was like quite a planning process. And also, you know, she really, she she was successful on her first attempt ever, and I thought that was a little unbelievable because most people fail, you know, especially first attempts. In my opinion, I could be wrong, but I was surprised that she was actually ex successful. My opinion, my opinion. Do you think, does anyone agree with that? I know that's kind of a weird thing, but like that's kind of always what I've thought about. Another thing that people believe that making mental illness a cool thing is cool is that celebrities are coming out with a mental illness. You know, people like Bruce Springsteen, Gwyneth Paltrow, Adele, and everything from like OCD to postpartum depression. And people want to act like these celebrities that are like, oh, mentally ill. Okay, I do think it's good that celebrities talk about mental illness because therefore the conversation gets spoken about. I don't think people are more trying to say they have a mental illness because they want to be like the celebrity. I think they're maybe just more open to talking about it because they are relating themselves to certain celebrities and it's just becoming a more open thing to talk about. I'm not going to talk smack about celebrities coming out with mental illnesses because I think that helps reduce stigma. Is that such a bad thing? That's pretty cool to me. I Doesn't anyone need to look up to someone that may have an illness? that they have and they want to be like that person and that person is admirable because despite that the fact they have a mental illness they're still successful and have an awesome life and they're really cool and you want to be like them anyway despite not knowing they had a mental illness now finding out they do and you were like wow all the whole time that's pretty cool and i'm not saying i'm still not saying it's cool 
to have a mental illness. I'm just saying I don't really think anything is wrong with that. What I've, what I've understood from reading these articles, getting these comments, seeing everything about this was we need to actually show true depictions of what mental illness really is. Personally, if you watch my channel, I have the whole playlist of schizophrenia caught on camera and it's me having episodes of schizophrenia moments while usually I'm just sitting on one of my couch. You think a schizophrenic episode is scary? It's really not, because you watch my videos and I'm just yapping at nobody to have a whole conversation. So I'm trying to just show there's a real time depiction. That's me in an episode and I'm not dangerous whatsoever. That's what I do. So let's keep talking. I know that more schizophrenia advocates are popping up out of the blue, out of everywhere. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Let's start showing people what schizophrenia really is and that it's not that horrible, scary, monstrous thing that has just covered in the, the stigma and the black hole of what everybody thinks schizophrenia is. We are not dangerous, horrible people. Please stop thinking that it is the the, the wackest thing ever. Just stop. It's not cool. Be done with it. Some people are thinking or whatever, whatever they want to think that mental illness is a cool thing. But it really, really is not a cool thing. Because if I said it was a cool thing, I would then be admitting that mental illness is something that I like, but I don't like it. And yeah, I embrace my schizophrenia. I tell everyone that I have schizophrenia. Like, I really do. Because honestly, they're going to realize something's up very, very quickly on it. it. It is. And it's just, I can't, I, I, I have been in the hospital. I have, um almost died. I have hurt myself in so many different ways and I've also hurt the people around me. So if I try to say, oh, you know, I, I want to think that schizophrenia is cool because then I want to be cool. I, I'm not going to say that because I don't think anyone should have to go through what I've been through. And it, no, it's not cool. It's not cool. You know, I just rock it because I have to. I think it's time for me to go take a nap or something. I think I just wore myself out because I'm in a million different ways right now. I'm having a night, I'm having a night. I don't know if you can tell, but that's good. Okay, so let's do it. <laughs>